Yes! In this video, I'm going to show you how to undo and redo any of your edits. And I'm also gonna show you how to use the history panel. In Photoshop, you can change the edits that you make to an image with the undo and redo commands. This video will show you how to undo, how to redo, and how to step back in time as you're editing. You can follow along with this file for this tutorial or just use an image of your own. The link for this image is in the description or you'll find it in the actual course. Now let's make some adjustments to this image. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've opened this image, right? And I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and adjust the contrast by dragging in the white and black point sliders. Now I'm gonna add a black and white adjustment layer. So let's say that you want to get rid of that last adjustment you just did in Photoshop. In this case, it was making the black and white adjustment layer. So to make that disappear, the quick way to do it is just to use the keyboard shortcut, Command plus Z on the Mac, or Control plus Z on Windows, which I'll do now. Then the black and white adjustment layer just goes away. Now I can bring it back by pressing Shift plus Command plus Z again, or I can use Shift Control plus Z for Windows. So these two keyboard shortcuts are a toggle for undoing and redoing the last thing you did, whatever it was. So that way you can kind of see a quick before and after to see if you really like it. Now, if you prefer to use a menu command rather than the shortcut, you can go up to the edit menu and there you can choose undo. Photoshop will even remind you what action you're about to undo or redo. Now, what if you want to undo more than just one step? Well, in that case, just keep hitting Command or Control plus Z. You can do that up to 50 times by default now in Photoshop, and each time you're stepping back one step in time. There's one more way that you can step through time in Photoshop, and that's by using the History panel. The History panel is located here. If you don't see yours, go up to Window and go down and put a check by History. I'm going to explain this panel by moving down to its bottom bar until I see a double-pointed arrow and then dragging down so we see in this panel a separate bar for each step that I just took on this image. So we see where I opened the image, where I adjusted the contrast with levels, and where I added a black and white adjustment layer. Go choose the brush tool. Now keep your eye on the history panel as I make an X stroke on my image. Notice how my thing was just recorded in the history panel also. Now the beauty of having these states in the history panel is that you can step back through them one by one like this. Imagine if you had 50 in here. Now each time you do that, everything in the image changes to the way it looked at that specific state at that point in time. Now you can also step forward or jump forward in time in the history panel like this. The two things to keep in mind about the history panel, if you do go back to a previous state, like let's go back here, and then you do something else like paint with a different color in this area, keep your eye on the history panel and you'll see that everything after that state is now gone. It's totally disappeared. It's basically rewritten history. The second thing to keep in mind is that when you close the image, whether you save it or not, your history will disappear. And the next time you open the image, the history panel will be cleared out and it'll be ready to start fresh. Now I've been using Photoshop for 20 years and between the keyboard shortcuts and the specific way I use the layers panel, which I'll cover in detail in another video, I rarely ever use the history panel. And by rarely, I pretty much mean I almost never use the history panel, but it may work good in your workflow. So I wanted to show it to you so you have an access and a knowledge to all the tools in Photoshop to make your images the way you want them to be. Either way, you're gonna have lots of flexibility to correct any mistakes and try all kinds of creative approaches as you edit your own images. So I hope that helps. Take care. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> god. Oh my god, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.